Hey everybody, what's happening? We are going to test Smart Summons uh, with version 10 here in a fairly empty parking lot. Just to give you all an idea of how it works, how well it works, and some of the quirks that are associated with Smart Summons. So let's go, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. All right, so for the first one, we're just gonna go ahead and Smart Summons to that. It's got me pinpointed right there and we're gonna say go to target and lights are flashing and here it comes it's sort of sort of creepy okay I don't know why I was trying to turn there And it is coming right. Bingo. Hello. Stopped right where it was supposed to. All right, so now we are going to send it back to where it came from. Let's see if it can fit a go. And all I did is go to the app, set the target, and go to target. Let's see if it's actually gonna turn itself around. And drive forward. And that looks like that's exactly what it's gonna do. And it's using a turn signal. Turns it off. Awesome. Oh, wow, pretty good. And even use the turn signal to be polite. All right, so we are just sitting here, not parked correctly at all in this parking lot. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send it to a location um, a little further down that way and see how well it interacts and what it does. See if it actually is gonna turn itself around or if it's gonna, you know, just reverse it all the way to the location. So let's give it a shot. All right, coming to the app, Smart Summon, and we're just gonna send it, right there it looks good. And now we're just gonna go ahead and hit summons button. Now in this mode, I absolutely have to hold down the button and release it when I want the car to stop. And you can see here, turn signal is on again. Destination achieved. Awesome. All right, so we are quite a distance away. We're still within range. And instead of forcing it, I'm going to actually ask the car to come get me. Now it has to maneuver through here. This is a street. And I'm sitting in front of a store. See if it'll come all the way here to pick me up and see if it'll actually stop in this sort of what I would call an intersection. And no, it just pulled right in. And it doesn't really know what to do. It turned its turn signal on. You're right, you are making a left hand turn. And that's about what I would expect. Awesome. My car is just uh, sitting there in the street and I'm going to have it uh, come get me one more time. And I'm going to make it maneuver around here a little bit and see if it'll come get me. Alright, let's see what she does. Used a proper turn signal. 
That is unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic that this thing is doing what it's doing. Hit the spot. Perfect. All right, we're gonna send it to a target and we're gonna see if the Tesla Model 3 will stop for a pedestrian walking in front of the car. Figuring it out. Figuring it out. Up. Huh? It's stopping. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's going to try and go around. Let's see, does it? It's just unbelievable. Fantastic. And it's turning on its right turn signal and it goes around the obstacle. Although fairly close, I would say it did a pretty good job. Fantastic. All right, we're going to try that one more time here. We got a crazy pedestrian that's not paying attention where he's going. Is the Tesla Model 3 going to stop? Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Pedestrian left. And see you later, car. Hey, where you going? Wait a minute. No, I'm just kidding. That's where I sent it to. And there it goes. That's its destination. Fantastic. All right, here we go. One more test. Woo! That worked really well. And it said on the screen, waiting for a pedestrian. Fantastic. Wow, this car is amazing. And just imagine what this feature is going to be like six months to a year from now, when they actually are able to develop the software a little bit more. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, dude, that was pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, All right, so we're going to try this a little bit different this time. We're going to make it travel through some cars here, hopefully, and see how it does. I'm just going to actually ask the car to come get me. And it's going to have to hopefully come around this way, come through all these parked cars, and pick me up. So let's see exactly what it does. Is it going to just cut across the parking lot? Yep. Yeah. And it did make its turn. Let's see what happens here. Does it recognize that car? Yes, but awful close. it but you can see how close it came to that car um, was fine but um, didn't really go the route that it should be it shouldn't be cutting across traffic like that but that's okay it actually did come to me and find me and I'm gonna see that driving this car yeah or is it what is it's it? what's that is it is yeah yeah Oops. that's what we're testing right now Stop. it's doing pretty good actually surprisingly it is it's doing it won't park by itself like this, but it will come like pick me up and I can send it to wherever else I want in the parking lot. So it's actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, interesting. So we're going to see if it can come pick me up here. Okay, we're sending it to come pick me up one more time. Now there are a few things that are going on within the application that I'm going to do a full review on in a different video, but for the most part right now, um, I just want to get to the point, ah, it doesn't look like it's going to find me, it's going to back up a little bit. Looks like it made a wrong turn there, there you go, that's the right way to go. That's the right way to go. And, excuse me, but my chauffeur is here, I must leave. All right, so there you have it. That is Smart Summons in a nutshell. It actually did a really, really good job uh, sort of managing its way through this parking lot. It's very basic. It does do some goofy things, but for the most part was very accurate in its intentions and when it arrived to its destination. So when you pinpointed it somewhere, it did get there. When you called it to come get me, 
it actually got you right where you were standing. Um, sometimes they had a little bit of difficulty um, managing where it should actually go. Um, when it actually got close to me, it didn't know to turn left or to turn right. But for the most part, very, very cool feature. I think there's gonna be some very good practical uses for this. I wouldn't recommend just coming out and just something's in the car all over the place. I think you may run into some problems, especially when it's busy. But you did see the car actually stopped when a pedestrian came in front of it. When it was even 10 feet in front of it, it stopped. But it, when it walked immediately in front of the car, it stopped. So it is using all of its sensors, the cameras, to check its surroundings and just uh, maneuvering through the parking lot very, very well. So there you have it, smart summons in a nutshell.